YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to do this Tory Lanez and Megan the Stallion story, fabrication, cover up, lying, whatever you want to call it. Um, ever since this, you know, shooting story broke, I had my own suspicions of what was really behind this and what was really going on. And, you know, I want to kind of, you know, break some things down. I suspect at the time this was a situation where we have a problem with somebody that you're involved with. You find out they're either messing with your friend or may be flirting with your friend or whatever. And then next thing you know, things escalate and get out of hand. Except for in this case, what actually escalated is not what we were told in the original story that happened. For months with all of these court delays and, um, you know, all of this attempt to blackball Tory Lanez and all this attempts to make Megan the Stallion look like a victim. And now we find out in court that, you know, not only was there gun residue on Megan the Stallion's friend Kelsey, but that there's an eyewitness that also saw what transpired as well as, you know, basically um, showing that the gun was basically in the um, vicinity of where it would have been, where Kelsey would have um, pulled the trigger versus Tory Lanez. And that completely, you know, changes the tra trajectory of how this case is going to go. And the judge ruled that this case has enough evidence to go to trial. And I believe the next court date that resumes is in January of 2022. But oh my gosh. And as a result of this, and you're probably thinking, oh, well, you know, what's so important about this? The, what's important about this as we've been lied to for what, like a year now of about this case and about the details of this case? Um, now the hospital that claimed to treat Megan the Stallion's injuries, they can't find or do not know on record where her treatment records are of the alleged fragments on her foot. <laughs> what is going on? The cover up is worse than the crime. And all this told me, and you know, this is all alleged, of course. But all this told me was Rock Nation was looking for an opportunity to cash in because um, they were thinking that this could be a big assault case or this could be a big case um, that could catapult Megan the Stallion's career. And as a result, she was winning all these phantom awards and on the cover of all these magazines. And they were trying to have her blow up like another Rock Nation artist did, except for the difference was her assault actually happened. Her assault case is actually real. There is nothing fabricated about that assault. And I think that's where we are. And so now the problem is you can't defend the lies anymore. There's been too many cover-ups. There's been too many um, judges and police officers and things that were paid off to keep up this lie for so long. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. Because now, you know, Megan Thee Stallion's latest project is flopping. And now you people are seeing Megan for who she is. And what I find interesting is a lot of the blogs that used to back Megan Thee Stallion, like the Neighborhood Talk, like the Shade Room, they are all reporting the facts of what happened in court. And as a result of that, Megan the Stallion is, you know, in her feelings on Twitter and she is blocking all of these blogs left and right. Why are you blocking blogs if there's nothing to hide? If they're reporting the facts that happened in the court case. What, what are you doing? 
And I always felt from the beginning that Tory Lanez wasn't the shooter. I always felt this was a lover scorn situation gone bad where, you know, either Megan found out Tory Lanez was involved with Kelsey or flirting with Kelsey or whatever, which led to them fighting. And then the gun goes off. But I never felt that this was Tory Lanez's being the shooter. That I never was, you know, ever considered because the story was too choppy. There were too many holes in the story and there were too many things that didn't make any sense. And if Tory Lanez truly was the shooter, he would have been, you know, in jail by now. Would have been convicted and everything. But the fact that there has been so many little details of this case that have been trickling for so long by these court dates keep could kept getting pushed back and back and back to catapult Megan the Stallion to win all of these, you know, Phantom Awards and everything else and be, ex, you know, seen and get all this exposure. And now the truth comes out. Now we're starting to get to the truth after all this time of, you know, people being paid off and different cover ups starting to happen. And, you know, also rumor has it Megan the Stallion is likely to be subpoenaed. So that's another thing. You can't lie on the stand unless you want to go to jail for perjury. So you can block people all you want to. You can create a false narrative on social media all you want to and, you know, try to kill the noise. But the facts are in that court transcript that took place a couple of days ago, and it is very bad for you. It looks very bad for you because a lot more people now are completely sussed out by you. And if people weren't sussed out from you before, they are definitely now because your lies are not adding up to any portion of the truth is the issue. You can't make a lie into a truth. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. You can't do it because the truth will always come out one way or the other. So that <laughs> is where we are. And, you know, this is just the beginning this is just the beginning because I do not see how much longer Rock Nation is going to put all of this money and all of this exposure and things into Megan the Stallion um, as more of the details of this case comes out finally. I just can't see it. She's not worth the investment. She's not. She is not doing better than some of these other female rappers that are out in the game. She may be on a lot more covers than them, and she may have gotten a whole bunch of more awards than them that she didn't deserve, but she is not doing what they're doing, what these other ladies are doing on the scene. And, you know, her, her 15 minutes are starting to dwindle down now because... The worst thing you can do is, you know, lie about something that can be proven to be factual once the truth comes out. The real alleged tea was that Megan the Stallion had to cancel some appearances around this time because she had got COVID. And, you know, her partying at Kylie Lee Jenner's house with Tory Lanez didn't exactly help matters either. But the rumor was that she allegedly left Kylie Jenner's early and threw a fit because she didn't like the way that Tory Lanez and Kylie Jenner were interacting. So this is somebody who, again, cannot handle uh, different interactions with people that she is involved with. If she, you know, misinterprets the conversations as flirting or misinterprets things as being inappropriate or whatever, and then as a result, things escalate. And so now things have escalated to where, you know, somebody shoots, and this whole time, people have been painting the picture, the blogs, the media had been painting the picture that Tory Lanez was the shooter, and now we find out he wasn't. That is not good news for Megan the Stallion. Not good news at all.
So please let me know what you guys think of this latest chapter and the Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion shooting scandal trial situation that is happening. Um, I feel like more truth is going to be revealed because why are you blocking people if there's nothing to hide? Why are you blocking repu reputable um, journalistic sources that are verified, that have always reported the facts on situations? Why are you blocking those publications all of a sudden? Who previously did nothing but praise you. But now you can't lie about actual court transcripts that actually took place, actual things that are taking place real time in the court system. They can't lie for you about that. There's not enough money to pay to lie about what facts are being presented in court. And so now there is way more of a defense that Tory Lane's lawyers can present to, you know, hopefully get these charges gone and have the appropriate charges filed against the actual people who um, who actually did the shooting. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think? Do you think Megan the Stallion is finally done? Do you think she's finally exposed for lying about this? Do you believe Tory Lanez's... Um, you know, account of events? Do you believe that Kelsey has been the shooter from the start and this was a lover's quarrel gone bad and somebody wanted revenge and somebody wanted to destroy somebody else's career because they were jealous or insecure about another woman? What are your thoughts? What do you guys think? All right, that is all I have. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this is your first time viewing my channel. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, and as usual, I will talk to you guys again very soon.